Welcome everybody to the Pocket Pipe Calculator Overview. Uh, today we're going to cover the Settings tab. And what you'll see here when you first open up uh, some of the applications uh, is a, it'll take you to the Settings tab which is this button in the lower right hand corner. Uh, when you first come into the screen you'll notice at the top it says Settings, Input Type, Auto Mode. Then you have a swap to Manual Input and when you press that button uh, it affects some of the input options here. Uh, based on whether you enter in the data manually or if you want to choose from a drop down menu. It will also change the text up here so you know what mode you're in. Uh, you can toggle that back to auto. Auto should be the most common one. Uh, we have DIN, Imperial and Metric. Uh, those radio buttons uh, will determine how your calculation will work. Uh, DIN will use uh, calculations based on DIN standards. Uh, the fittings are short radius and long radius and the uh, takeouts for those are preset. If you use imperial or metric, uh, imperial will be uh, feet and inches and fractions and metric will be centimeter and millimeters. Uh, in order to do the takeout for fittings you're going to use a multiplier. Uh, for a long radius uh, it's one and a half times your pipe size. Uh, if you wanted a short radius you would see that multiplier changes to one. Uh, a 3R it changes to three. Or if you want to, you can set a custom setting. You can do a 5R fitting. Uh, these buttons over here are just shortcut buttons. Uh, they actually uh, hold no uh, relevancy to the calculation. The only thing it does is it sets a preset in the multiplier for you. The other option we have down here is uh, Factory 45 and Custom Cut. Uh, Factory 45 applies to long radius fittings for imperial and metric. Uh, if you want to actually it'll apply with the DIN as well. Uh, if your calculation uses 45 degree fittings and you have supplied fittings, uh, some of the some of the pipe sizes have a fixed takeout and the mathematical formula doesn't apply. So this will allow if you uh, for an accurate takeout uh, when you need to find the cut length of pipe. If all of your fittings, even your 45s, are going to be cut from a 90, then just check the custom cut and uh, basically use the mathematical formula in order to determine a takeout for the fitting. Uh, another option you have here, you see it says set radius for fitting 1 and 2. Most commonly, both your fittings will be the same radius if you're using long radius fittings, then both your fittings in the offset should be a long radius. If by chance uh, you need to use two different type fittings, uh, maybe that's all that's supplied to you, you can uncheck this box and then you can set fitting one could be a short radius and fitting two can be a long radius fitting. Uh, you can toggle between the two. Uh, if you wanted to custom set one to be a 5R and then a short radius, it's, it's up to you. Um, or you can just check the box which is which is the default setting. As you scroll down here you'll see pipe size. I click the blue button there and since we're in metric the sizes appear in um, millimeters. If we swap to uh, imperial you'll see it swap to its uh, uh, the imperial size which is 10 inch. Uh, if you hit the drop down you will get the uh, pipe sizes available in inches. Root gap, uh, if, if you are in um, Imperial, you're going to need to set it uh, as a decimal as well, uh, eighth of an inch. Um, the other option um, here is you've got the checkbox. If you want to take out just one root gap, even though there's going to be two joints, uh, there is some shrinkage in the, uh, the weld. So if you just want to take out one root gap, just uncheck the box. And if, say with our preset, we have an eighth of an inch, then the application will only take out an eighth of an inch from your cut length. If you do times two, then it will take out a quarter inch because it's two root gaps combined. Uh, that's basically the run through for auto input. Uh, as you can see down here at the bottom, there is a, um, a little help menu. If you press one of the buttons, you get a pop-up that basically describes the functions that are in the settings tab only. Uh, just kind of gives you a description to help describe what it is that each function does. 
This button right here is a video button, which is actually the video you're watching now. Um, that's a brief run through for that. If we click the manual button, um, you, you keep the DIN, Imperial, and metric at the top. Um, your pipe size, that drop down menu disappears. Uh, instead, you're going to enter the pipe OD because you're going to need to calculate custom fittings. Root gap stays the same. You have the option of doing custom cut and factory 45. Uh, again, uh, this is a manual side, so you'll actually have to input the takeout for a 45. The application will not calculate it. Same with the takeout for a 90. Uh, basically, this is uh, an option available if maybe a pipe size isn't available or uh, you got some fittings that uh, were supplied that don't seem to follow the standards and there's some uh, variation in it. Uh, this still gives you the opportunity to use the calculation. Uh, you just need to enter the data manually. As a factory 45, you'll be required to enter the takeout for the 45 and a takeout for a 90, just in case your calculation doesn't use a 45 degree fitting. Uh, as custom cut, uh, takeout for 45 is, is disabled because you do not need it and the takeout for a 90 is available. And that, that's the basic run through for the settings tab. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me on Facebook and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.